Hey everyone, I'm Jari Javana and I am here in downtown Carrollton and I'm so excited to interview Chef Dazare of Cooking the Details. She's gonna give us a tour of her space. We're gonna learn a little bit more about who she is, what she does over here, and we're gonna take a cooking class. So let's go. Hello! Hi! Thank you so much for having it's us on so the show. It's so good to see you. Can you give us a tour of your space and just let us know a little bit more about you? Sure! So hello everybody, my name is Chef Dazare. I'm owner of Cooking the Details. I'm really happy to say this is our fifth year in business. I've had this shop for two and a half years. Welcome to my space! I teach here. Anything that has to do with food, I try to make it happen. So I just wanted to give you a quick little tour of my space. Not much to see, but I would say this is my heart and soul. It's my little baby. I recently celebrated five years in work. Um, I've been here for two and a half years. Right over here is my wall. I really try to capture all the pictures. As soon as I finish a class, I love putting it up there. I like keeping the dates because sometimes it's nice to go through memory lane and other times as an entrepreneur, it's really stressful feeling like, am I doing enough? And this reminds me like the work is happening. What's really cool when you look around, you will notice that there's repeat little faces on here and it makes me feel old as heck. But the kids keep coming back and as they're getting older, it makes me real happy. I'm gonna take you down this way this is where we're going to be doing our class today. We've got our cutting boards. We've got our ingredients. Um, we'll be setting up here. I try to have everything prepped. Anything that you're going to need for class, I try to take care of it, whether it be your aprons, your towels, like literally anything. And then we cook together, we eat together, and then you take all your leftovers home. Pretty easy peasy. All throughout, I want you guys to make sure you check out all my art. I love all the cute stuff. And so any chance that I can find food ponds or things about kitty biscuits, this is one of my favorites, because we need them. You need them. Yee. Okay. So we go over this way and we try to have the rules here because folks is nasty and this is not limited to the kids. The adults are a little gross too sometimes, but that's okay. That's why we go over the rules. And yes, everybody helps with dishes because there is something about the end of class and people wander off and they look at the walls or they say, oh, I got to go to the bathroom and then they don't help pick up. I see them. I see them every time. Sometimes when we go to class, I got to let folks know we don't want to get hangry. So as soon as I saw this online, I totally had to get this for my kitchen because I think hangry is like a real problem in this world. And I think we'd all be better off with some sleep and a good meal. My other thing I want to show you guys, comeovers is one of my favorites. I really love this pot rack. I really wanted to center this. It's probably one of my favorite pictures. And then I also have this little seagull picture over here. Makes me real happy because it reminded me of one time, because I'm originally from California, a seagull took my wiener schnitzel and I was real sad about it. And then again, more of my affirmations, the positivity is what I'm all about in here. So always look on the sunny side. So I'm originally from California, went to college in New Mexico, lived in Iowa for two years, and then I moved here to Texas 2017. Um, so I've been here since then and I'm a Libra, I'm left-handed. I got two chihuahuas at home and I like to cook, but I also like to eat. Yeah. So I've always been really passionate about food. Even in college, my research interests were food access and urban development. So how people are eating, who has access to it. And then on top of that, layer on some race, class, and gender. That's my cup of Kool-Aid. So I wanted to fight the myth that eating healthy was difficult or eating healthy had to be expensive. And I realized you go out to restaurants, the quality sometimes isn't what it's supposed to be. And so if I can teach people how to do it at home, we can build community. It's good for your mental health. It teaches things about you on the inside, all the good stuff. I, have a, I feel like eating is an experience. So I want my classes to reflect that as well. So I offer kids classes and adult classes. And when you come in, we do everything from start to finish. I like to think my job is safety and technique. And after that, I like don't care what you do. Like season it however you want. You cut it however you want. As long as those fingers are safe and there's no blood, like fine. <laughs> I'm happy camper. And then we cook it together. We eat together, we pack up. And I think I love that eating together and breaking that bread because I get to learn who came to class today. And so that's probably my favorite part of my job. I think it, there's so many layers to that question. So I would say in the beginning when I started my business, it's like, okay, what am I doing as a business? 
and then you get it going and you get your groove and i would say at this point in my career i'm about a year and a half in and then it's like okay i, I gotta grow and so originally when i thought my grow time was gonna happen i thought i was gonna have a waffle shop called waffle schmoffle if anyone does that i'll see you i got you and then <laughs> um i wanted one and that didn't end up working out as planned and so then i found this space and so i teach and so then i'm like okay i had to completely switch around my business plan and so now you're kind of you're restarting the same question of okay so what am i doing but now the stage looks different so then you get it going, the thing is going, and then you realize I gotta get the people in here. How do I do that? And so then you think you're working as a chef on one part, but then you're really also really understanding what it means to be an entrepreneur, really understanding how to work with the city um, and all of these moving parts. How do I make sure I'm serving my community? And so a lot of times you hear people talking about, are you working on your business or are you working in your business? And being able to keep those two distinctions in my work, I would say is the hardest because you have to keep giving to both sides. And if something is lacking, you definitely will feel it in, I feel it in my work. I would say, ask yourself, what are you trying to do? Um, I'm really, I want everyone to try. I think entrepreneurship is so important or just being able to lead. And so don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Be okay with not knowing things. But in that same breath, I would say you probably know more than you think. And it is okay to not know. And sometimes the only way you can know isn't gonna come through a book, not gonna come through someone's masterclass. You just physically have to do it and then be okay with evaluating your work. And I think a lot of times we're in this culture, especially with social media, like, okay, it's gonna happen overnight. I'm gonna go viral and then I'm done. And it's like, I don't, Sometimes I've kind of, I don't want to be viral. I want a slow burn. I want to have people come back years and years from now and be like, I took a class with her. I remembered when chef cooked for me. I remember this experience. I'm definitely here to stay. And I want new entrepreneurs to keep that mindset that like you're here for a long time. You don't want to be quick. You want to build roots in your community because without your people, you don't have work. I love guiding people through the experience. I think sometimes people come in and they're nervous, they're not sure what they're gonna get. Then they walk in and they realize, oh snap, she's black. And I like, yeah, I am. <laughs> so they're real excited about that part as well. And just being like, it's just us. And I'm like, yeah, it's just us. So people feeling like, oh my gosh, I get this hands-on one-on-one experience with the chef. We are cooking together. And then they're still a little nervous, but then I get to talk them up and we get to build relationship with each other. And then that feeling of seeing their shoulders relax and they're just here with me in the moment. They're taking in all the smells, they're getting into it. I love seeing that confidence come out of them and feeling like I got this. We sit down together, we eat together, and I love learning more about them. So like just getting them through that process is probably the favorite part of my job. So my goal is I got some projects in the works, but I, I want my own show. I want to show um, that's something I'm working on, trying to get that. I really want to fuse together cooking and mental health. When I had mentioned before that it's really good just talking to who you're in class with, whoever you're in class with, it's because cooking really relaxes you. It keeps your hands busy. The smells and everything about it is very therapeutic. So to be able to have that platform to just share more recipes with people, but also to get people talking. Also, old person me wants a bed and breakfast. Can't wait. Can't tell you why, but I would love a bed and breakfast and I live there and you stay there and then we get to have breakfast in the morning. Those are my big goals. <laughs> I need everyone out there to know that seasonings will not kill you. You actually want seasoning. I want to say you get no more than two salts. I'm on to folks. They be wanting to do Laurie's, they want to do Tony's, they want to do Slappy Mama, they want to do the blend. Mm -mm, those are all sodiums. You get no more than two. Stop putting so much salt in your food and season it with actual spices and fresh aromatics. That's all I got. Stop eating bland food. Don't make no sense. I just want to say thank you so much for having me on 127 Local Gems. Can't wait to keep cooking with you and we're going to enjoy this dish. Bye.